Hey everyone, it's Kayla. Welcome back for another video. I wanted to do another tutorial about using OneNote. If you haven't checked it out, I did do a video about using OneNote and its ability to sync your digital, sync your online calendar. I will link that in the description below. That's why I love using OneNote. Um, I find OneNote's a little bit better for like business and for work. Um, as opposed to good notes where you can't sync your calendar because that one is very user friendly in terms of journaling and stickers and all this cute cutesy stuff and links and things that you can do but um one note is just a little bit more um user friendly with microsoft so like i said you can link your calendar but also your OneDrive, um and you'll see there's different benefits like endless amount of writing space on one page. Today I want to talk to you about the ability to still customize and add photos and just make the process a little bit more easy to understand because I think there's a couple of different ways that you can do it but I know I was finding myself struggling and so I want to kind of like make it easy for you to understand. This is my later standard workbook planner. I do have it available in PDF form and in GoodNotes form on my website, which I'll put in the description. I don't really have anything ready yet for OneNote just because I'm still trying to figure out how I want to launch it. If you guys have ideas, let me know and let me know if you're interested. Um, the planner has a monthly layout as well as leader standard work templates built into it um, that you can rearrange and organize. Today I want to show you um, a little bit more about the pages. So when I, when you, first of all, when you're inserting like a layout, like say you want it to look cute in like a page like this, I inserted this as a PNG or a picture file because if you do a PDF file, it's going to just be like the PDF icon or like the document icon. It's not going to show up as a graphic like you want it to. Um, you like you can import it as a PDF, but it'll always have that like weird icon um, that you can later delete. Anyway, I just feel like that's not really the way that um, you'd want to import your planner page if you're going to make it cute like this. So I did a picture. If you do this, you can insert other stickers on top or like pictures um, of your paper. But I found that I found it really cumbersome if I didn't know a few tricks. So like in good notes, people often like to make their planner all cute and customizable and add like little stickers everywhere. And so that's what I want to show you how to do right now. So the first thing is first, if you want to add a anything, you really need to be in the draw mode. And when you can see if I touch something, like I'm actually touching the screen, it's hard to see right now because I'm just screen recording nothing's happening so you actually have to touch the text mode and then touch the screen now when i touch on the page here i'm actually selecting the picture when i'm in text mode so it's just kind of weird um it doesn't allow for you to easily add stickers if i go to insert you can do insert pictures i'm just going to add my most recent photograph here And you'll see that it just automatically adds it outside and not on top of the page. So like if I was trying to make this page cute, it would have landed right here and I can of course adjust it. And I have a very hard time putting this back onto the page. And so um, it can be done. Um, it, and it's just that you need to get the text box to be over this picture. Um, and I find it really hard. I'm actually just trying on the screen right now. <laughs> so what I've actually done here on this other page is made this, um, this actually, this PNG, the background image for the planner. So I'm going to go to the 17th. So what I would do is um, highlight this picture and click set picture as background. And now... You can see it's whenever I go to select, I can't. I'm not actually selecting the PNG or like this planner page. When I actually go to hit text mode, it's going to allow me to actually start texting on the page. Texting. <laughs> Typing. So that's nice. Um, it's not going to mean that I'm like moving this PNG around. So if I'm going to insert a picture, 
Um, it's not a problem. I just, again, I want to be in draw, text mode, go to insert, go to pictures. But now watch, when I go to add pictures, it's going to add the picture like right on top of the page. And then, oops, and then I can just try resizing it from this other side. Now I can just resize it and it's easily, easily staying on the page and I can make it bigger and click draw and make, select my utensil, make notes here. So I hope that helps in terms of like, if you want to make your backgrounds cute and have a template, set it as a background instead of keeping it as a PNG or picture and that way it won't move on you. I feel like I did discover a way to like take this background off, but I can't remember at the moment. So if anyone has tips, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, you could just delete the page and, and re-add it. So anyways, I hope that helps and makes adding stickers to your OneNote planner or pictures to make it cute a little bit easier and a little less stress-free. All right, everyone, take care and have a good one.